Hello, this is Clark Jones coming to you from Play Ball Right. And today we're going to analyze the pitching mechanics from the windup of Steven Strasburg with the Washington Nationals. And what we're going to focus on today is two types of pitching principles. One is the old drop and drive method used by Tom Seaver back in the 60s and 70s. And what's used mostly now nowadays by most big league pitchers, and that's a method which I call tall and fall. And I'm going to talk to you today about why I believe the tall and fall method is more effective than the drop and drive method. And let's go ahead and look at a couple brief illustrations here before we get rolling. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain to you what the drop and drive method is. Basically with the drop and drive method, your, your pivot leg is going down toward the rubber as you push off toward home plate. So basically what happens in the drop and drive method is your energy is going down and then your energy is going out. And I contend that it's more effective to get your energies driving straight toward home plate and not wasting this down and out energy. Okay? So that's a little bit behind both methods. Let's take a look at Steven Strasburg today. And we'll advance this frame by frame. Bear with me here. And we're going to see that Steven Strasburg really does not push off the rubber as most coaches say you should do. Basically, he's standing tall. And at this point, his body is going to fall toward home plate. Now, the other advantage I would say with the tall and fall method is the fact that at the point of delivery, the ball is heading on a downward plane, which makes it more difficult for a hitter to hit and to pick up. The drop and drive method actually flattens out the plane of the pitch, the angle of the pitch, where it's coming more on a flatter angle. Okay, so that's a little bit more about the two. Let's go ahead and advance this more and watch Steven Strasburg. He's falling toward home plate. Let's pay particular attention to his back leg and the delivery when he gets to the top here. Right now the ball is out. You can see the ball right here. <clears throat> Look how high he is from the ground. Okay, we're going to advance a little bit more. See the ball right here. And then it's out of sight. So, today we talked about the delivery. We talked about dropping and driving versus tall and fall. And I talked to you about how I felt the drop and drive method is really outdated and how it's a flatter pitch being thrown to the plate as opposed to the tall and fall method. <clears throat> so if you're interested in learning more about pitching mechanics, learning more about the drop and drive and the tall and fall method. I'd be happy to spend some time with you. In closing, I'd like to thank you for visiting my site today. I hope you gained some insight. Uh, if you're interested in the online hitting or pitching analysis or uh, pitching lesson, uh, feel free to visit my website here, which is listed at the top of the screen, www.powerchalk.com forward slash playballright. I want to wish you all the best of luck in your baseball endeavors. Thanks again for joining me today, and this has been Clark Jones with Play Ball Right.